Hi everyone, my name is Tammy with Happy Rock Crafts and I'm going to show you how I make a Mobius fidget strip, um, which is great for um, calming and um, it's a great motor skill technique. Um, it's also great for people who have Alzheimer's or dementia or ADHD or post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a calming thing. It's just an endless circle. So in the center here, you're just constantly pulling this strip out. There is no end. And the yarn that you use can be soft. It can be any type of yarn, just as long as it's not a scratchy one, I would recommend. You can make them with little beads on them, which I'm going to show you how I do. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna use, I'm using a size five crochet hook, 5.0 millimeter, which is an H. You can use any size crochet hook, it's just gonna change the size of your Mobius strip. That's all. And then I'm gonna use some beads. So I just have these cute little heart beads I'm gonna attach to my little strip. It's just a nice little surprise there for my grandchildren. You don't have to attach beads to it. I'm gonna attach the bead with a trick using dental floss. And then if you are comfortable, are not comfortable and you wanna make sure and do a stitch marker at the first stitch of each round, you can use a stitch marker um, or you could use a bobby pin or a paper clip or another piece of yarn. And then I'm going to start with using acrylic yarn. I'm going to use, I love this yarn, metallic white. It's got some little metallic in there. And I'm also going to be finishing up my, I love this yarn, metallic pinky toes. I have another skein that doesn't have a label, but this one I'm gonna finish up first. So I'm gonna start with my white. So what we wanna do is start with a slip knot on your hook. So you're gonna go ahead and make a slip knot. Everyone does them different, so however you choose. I go ahead and hold my yarn like this. I put my fingers in the top and I twist my fingers and then I grab that working yarn from the skein and I pull that through. And there's my slip knot. I'm going to take my crochet hook and insert it in there and pull my loop a little tight. And now we're going to chain a total of 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And now I'm going to single crochet into the second chain from hook. And a lot of times some people do the bumps on the back, but this is going to be a nice simple one for you. So it's great for beginners. I'm just, we're just going to work in the top of each chain under the top loop. So we're going to single crochet into the second chain from hook. Remember the loop on your hook does not count as a stitch or a chain. This is our first chain and this is our second. So we're going to insert our hook into that second chain yarn over, bring that yarn through the chain and up. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through those two loops and that's your first single crochet. And you're gonna do that into each stitch to the end. Three, four, five, And you should have 10 single crochets. However, I'm going to change to the pink yarn so you can see that twist that we're going to do. So this is how I change colors, is I grab that pink yarn. And I go ahead in my last chain, inserting my hook, 
yarning over, bringing that yarn through and up. Now I'm gonna drop the white and I'm gonna pick up the pink yarn to finish my single crochet. There we go. So there's my single crochet and I have the new yarn. And now I'm gonna snip that white. And now what we're gonna do is normally you would join, you would wrap your yarn to create a circle and you would join to the top of that first stitch that you did. However, we are gonna make sure that we do a twist because the Mobius strip needs to have a twisted circle in order for the magic to work. So if you're looking at it, this is where you would normally join at the top, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna flip it up a little or down. We can flip it down. And now we have this twist and we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the bottom right here of that first single crochet that we did. So insert your hook there with the new yarn, yarn over, bring that through the stitch and through your loop on your hook. And then chain one and then single crochet in that same stitch. Now, if you wanted to use a stitch marker, this is where you would go ahead and put your stitch marker. I'm going to use one. This way I can make sure I did a complete round when I'm doing my project. I just want to make sure it's all even. So I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker there. You don't have to. It really doesn't matter how many um, stitches you have. And now I'm going to go ahead and work two single crochets into the next one. So our pattern for this round is one single crochet in a stitch, then two single crochets. So now I'm gonna do that again. One single crochet, and then I'm gonna do two single crochets. And we're gonna continue doing this around. And I'm gonna try to get my, there we go. I wanna work. When I get over there, I want to work around my tails. So that was two. Next is one. And we're just following it. So two. And we're doing two single crochets into the same stitch. And then one. Then two, and then one, and then here's my ends. I'm going to bring those up because I want to work around those ends. And this is where we did our first single crochet, so we want to make sure that we are working at the bottom because we want to make sure and do the other side so make sure it's twisted. So I just pushed it up to make sure I get the bottom there. I did one there, so I'm gonna do two here. And I'm working around my tails. You don't have to work around your tails if it's confusing for you. You can just weave those in. So that's two, and now I'm gonna go ahead and work one into the next one. And then two. One and two. And then one. And I'm just working around my tails and then two into the next stitch. So one and two. I'm just gonna pull those tails a little. There we go. And then one single crochet. Then two single crochets. Okay, one single crochet, 
and then two single crochets into the next one. One and two. One single crochet into the next. I'm just gonna bring all those tails up with me to complete that single crochet. There we go. And now we're gonna do, you'll see I'm coming around, so I'm just pushing that up so where I have to work is on top. So now two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet into the next one. And now we have one more stitch left. We'll do our two single crochets in there. And now we're at the beginning where we started. So we just completed one round, one complete round. And that's what we wanted. I usually do six rounds in this pattern of one and two, one and two. But now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this round together because I wanna show you how I add little beads or buttons. So I'm just gonna insert my hook and do one single crochet here. And then I'm gonna replace that stitch marker. I just did one single crochet and now I'm going to do two single crochets into the next one. One single crochet into the next, then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet and then two single crochets. one and then two but I'm gonna go ahead and make one right now and now I'm gonna add a, a bead so I'm gonna pull up my loop like that and let me uh, let me adjust the camera so you can see better so there's my loop I'm gonna grab my dental floss and I'm gonna thread that dental floss in my loop like so And I want to make sure the ends of my dental floss are as close as can be, like that. And you don't need such a long piece of dental floss. I kind of overdid it. And then you're going to take your bead and oops, I'm going to go ahead and lick the, the dental floss off camera. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to take your dental floss and thread it through the bead or button. Pull your dental floss all the way through so the loop goes through your button and then remove the dental floss. And then replace your crochet hook in the loop and then pull your working yarn until it's nice and tight and snug. And that's it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and work my second single crochet in there And there's my little bead. And that's how I add a bead with the dental floss. And of course you can just um, add beads to your yarn if you prefer prior to crocheting. It's all up to you. But this way is just easier to do it this way, I feel. You can do that with buttons, anything really. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue doing my one and two all the way around. One and two. One and two. So go ahead and complete this round <clears throat> and I will see you guys back at the stitch marker. 
I'm right at the last stitch for my second row. I'm going to go ahead and remove that stitch marker and make two sing single crochets into that stitch. So one and two. I'm going to replace my stitch marker into that first one out of the two I just did. And then we're going to continue doing that pattern of one single crochet and then two single crochets. one single crochet and then two single crochets. So this is our third round. So go ahead and do a total of six rounds and I will see you guys back at the end of my sixth round. I am coming to the end of my round six and I want to make sure and change my color. You don't have to. I'm just going to go ahead and change it back to that white metallic. So what I'm going to do is put that white yarn behind my working yarn and continue to single crochet behind over it. So I'm going to do two single crochets here. One and two. Then one. And now two. And I did put um, a bead in already, but I will do that again just to show you guys how I do the bead. Two. And then I have one more stitch for this round six. So this is how I change colors. I start my single crochet with my old color and I finish it with the new one. And now I'm just gonna cut that pink And now I'm going to remove my stitch marker so I can make my next stitch there with the new color. And I'm going to work around my old one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do two single crochets in this stitch. And I'm going to replace my stitch marker into that first single crochet I just did. Oops. And now for this round, we're going to be working two single crochets into each stitch all the way around for round seven. So I'm just working two single crochets into every stitch. So I'm going to do a few more and then I'm going to add a button or a bead and show you how I add the bead again. And I'm just working around that tail and I'm just working two single crochets into each stitch around. And then we have one more round after this one. If you guys um, decide to make this and you post it to any platform, please give me a tag, Happy Rock Crafts. I would love to see it. Okay. I think that's good for my tail, so I'm going to go ahead and put that behind. And I'm going to do one more stitch. Okay, so I did one single crochet in that stitch, and now I'm going to add a bead. So I'm going to take that loop off. I'm going to turn my view. There we go. Here's my bead. I'm going to take that dental floss again. And I'm going to thread it through that loop. Like so. 
and then I want the two ends to be together. And I'm gonna go ahead and lick on the ends off camera. <laughs> And then I just take my bead and insert that dental floss through the hole and pull it all the way through until that loop goes through the bead hole. Remove my dental floss. And then I'm gonna replace my crochet hook back into that loop and pull the working yarn so it's nice and tight. And then I'm gonna do my second single crochet in there And that's how I add my beads. And then I'm gonna go into the next one and do two single crochets. So we're just working two single crochets into each of these stitches around. And this is for round seven. go ahead and pause the video and do your two single crochets into each stitch and I will see you back at the end of round seven. I just completed round seven and I'm at the stitch marker now. I'm going to remove my stick stitch marker and we don't need that anymore. So this is our last round, round eight. What I'm going to do here is just work a slip stitch into the next stitch. I'm going to chain one. And then in the same stitch, I'm gonna work four half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, bring that yarn through and up. And now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three loops. And that's my first half double crochet. And I'm gonna do three more in there because I want a total of four. So this is two, three, and this is number four. So for round eight, all we're doing is working four half double crochets into each of these stitches around. So go ahead and pause the video and work four half double crochets into every stitch around and I will see you back at the end of this round and show you how to do an invisible join. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm right at the end of row or round eight so I'm going to work my last four half double crochets. Oops. One. two, three, and four. And now we're gonna do an invisible join. So what you're gonna do is just pull that loop up a little bit so we don't take that stitch out. Grab your scissors, make sure you leave a long enough tail for weaving in your ends. And go ahead and snip. And then you're gonna take your yarn needle. And what we're gonna do with that loop is we're gonna pull it all the way through and then we're gonna thread our yarn to the needle. And then to do an invisible join, this is how I do it. There's many techniques out there. So I'm gonna skip this here first stitch and I'm gonna go ahead and from the front to the back underneath both loops, I'm gonna insert this needle. Let's see. And get a little better there we go so from the front to the back and then I'm gonna pull that and then we're gonna go back into the stitch that the yarn is coming out of and we're gonna insert our needle from the front to the back underneath the back loop only and pull that through and there we go that looks like it um, part of the stitch you can't tell and now you're just gonna make sure to weave in your ends. And I just like to weave mine 
in and out and do a knot here and there. So however you like to weave in your ends, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and finish weaving in my ends off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished weaving in my ends and now we're done. So this is a nice big puffy looking flower Mobius fidget strip. Nice little toy. You just pull from the center and it's just a continuous pull. And if you're interested in the written pattern, I have that available in my Etsy shop at Happy Rock Crafts or on my website at happyrockcrafts.com. Those links are in the description box below. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching.